Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video, and today I have a pretty interesting video for you guys. Uh, now today I have a tutorial explaining how to actually shut your MacBook's lid without the computer going to sleep. Now I know for a fact that this is a problem that a lot of people face when they are uh, trying to connect this to another monitor and they want to shut down the computer but not use it uh, with the MagSafe connector always plugged in. Uh, because that could be a situation that arises when you don't have your MagSafe on you or something of the sort. Uh, and for you guys, this is a pretty cool tutorial. Now first off, what I'm going to do is show you guys that my Mac is actually currently going to go to sleep when I shut the lid. So when I shut the lid here, uh, the light, the backlight goes off. Uh, and when I open it up, it's going to ask me to log in. Uh, and once I log in, uh, the computer is not on sleep anymore, of course it is completely usable. But the next thing that I'm going to be doing is enabling this application which I'm going to be talking to you guys about in a second and then showing you guys what happens. So I shut the lid and of course the backlight turns off because it is going to save power, but when I open it up the computer is still awake. Now I'm going to show this to you a little bit up close so that you guys can see that the backlight does turn off but the computer doesn't actually uh, go to sleep. So right there, as you can see, the backlight and the screen has shut off to be able to save power. Uh, but when I open it up, it's still awake. Now this is actually a pretty easy process to do. Uh, it actually requires a free application that you guys can download uh, that is actually going to be used on your Mac. Now I have left the download link for it in the description of this video, or video rather, so make sure to go ahead and check that out. What I'm going to do is show you guys what this application is. Now, as you guys can see, there are a couple little Z's over here uh, in my MacBook's uh, notification bar or the little top bar at the top. I'm not really sure what that's called right now. Um, but basically, this application is called No Sleep. Now, basically, all you have to do is install it, and when you actually turn it on, you can toggle it on and off from the little pressing of the little button uh, in the status bar or notification bar. And you can actually go into its preferences and adjust the different settings uh, to be able to put it to your liking, whether you would like it to always be on or whether you would like it to only work when you're connected to power or something of the sort. So this is actually a pretty useful application because it has a very small tiny little icon just right there on the screen and when you tap it and then you shut your computer off or when you actually like shut the lid of your computer and then open it back up it keeps your computer awake all the time so that you don't actually have to keep um, like for example if you're rendering a video or something and you want to put your computer in a cold area or something like that but you don't want the screen to be on and wasting power like that all you do is shut the lid and you're good to go because all the um, processes etc are still going to be running on in the background so this is also a great way for uh, what I've noticed if my phone is out of battery or something and I have my laptop in my bag and I want to listen to music all I do is I just thread my earphones or my headphones through the little earphone hole in my bag and into my closed laptop and listen to music while I'm walking or like on my way to school or something like that now anyway guys, that about concludes this video. If you find it helpful or if you found uh, this type of video nice, if you wanted to see more things like this, please do let me know by leaving this video a thumbs up telling me that you guys like it. And for any sort of feedback or creative criticism that you guys would like to leave, do leave it in the comment section of this video. You'll probably already see me responding to comments down there. But anyway guys, that does about conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave it a like rating. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, review tutorials, and much, much more, please do remember to subscribe. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.